So I'm obsessed with Miniverse and um, that's by MGA and Zuru came out with Mini Brands Create which is their um, competitor item for Miniverse. They look a little more realistic which is not my speed. I like the cutesy looking one. Um, I wasn't going to get any <clears throat> but they're not officially out yet and um, they came out at my Target and they're not listed on the Target app and if you scan it at Target it doesn't show up as anything um, which means they were either accidentally put out or that Target doesn't really care but anyway they it's before the release date which means it is a toy that has come out before the release date Lord Jesus um, I'm being tested because I could not say no to, I was like, oh, it's available before anybody else has it. And I don't even really want it, but now I have to have it. And so, um, there is a weight hack online. My kid wants the strawberry cake and I want the fruit tart. Um, and there's a weight hack online. So I brought my tiny, tiny scale to Target, uh, cause I have it with me all the time. Um, and I weighed them to come close to the weight hack. Uh, my kids, which is the lighter one, this one, uh, is I think it's pretty, pretty accurate. The weight hack for the strawberry cake, which does not come with any resin, so it doesn't come with the resin hat, is uh, 96.17 grams or 98 grams. And this one came in at 96.6. So I feel pretty confident that this is the um, strawberry cake, which I should feel confident because these are $10 each. And this one is what I think is the fruit tart. It comes in at 140.7 grams and the fruit tart hack is 140.58. Um, so let's see. This is absolutely ridiculous. I just, there's just no reason for me to have this. Um, oh, but like, you know, like it's so cute. It says master chef. It's, um, using recycled plastic. There are all the things that make you want to own it. And this one's not even pretending to be marketed towards children. Like the miniverse is so cute. It's got a very kawaii look about it. And um, the un the unboxing of it, the packaging is all super cute. My understanding with the Zuru ones is they are not cute packaging. Um, this is pretty bland packaging and it's very, very much marketed towards like not cutesy little kid type things. Like this is not a cute color ball or anything like that. Um, so let's see. Zuru does make five surprise mini brands. And so this is sort of in line with that. Um, Okay, so this one does have the Master Chef UV light. It comes with its own UV light, which is inside this chef hat. The batteries are not replaceable. It's only good for about two hours total, says Zuru. So there is an end time on this. It's a pretty solid piece. Um, and then let's see, this is the, I'm pretty sure the menu. Okay, so here we have, um, the chef hat instructions, nothing else cool. And then here is the possible uh, recipes. Oh, sorry, it's on this side. The possible recipes that you can have. There's a ramen, some pork chops, a parfait, some pork loins, chocolate cake, fruit cup, almond, cheesecake, uh, profiteroles, are those profiteroles? Yeah, almond and apricot. Um, oh, this is a... Um, Chocolate profiteroles, yeah, there's chocolate profiteroles, fruit tart, strawberry cake, um, and then the ultra rare is an apple pie. And then it has instructions on sort of how you can do all the, oh no, I have the almond cake. Yeah, it could have been the almond and apricot cheesecake, which is fine, I mean, I didn't get, it was very close in the weight hack and there's not, not enough people have bought these for the science to uh, tell you that that's for sure the hack so i'll you know i'll submit this to the group and hopefully we can refine the, the weight hack a little bit it's cool that the menu is specific to the item that you get i'm assuming um because they have like one side is the group menu and then this is the actual printed item that you get plus the direct instructions for the item that you get so that's kind of cool um this looks like what just a piece of cardboard and a display something like that so let's open up the items, not fruit tart items. Um, they look more realistic for sure. So here is 
a can of, or a jar of apricot jam with the applicator tip and a little sign that says don't eat it. And then we have a can of apricot halves, which is actually really, really cute. Little can of apricot halves. I'm assuming it opens like a Shopkins Real Littles does. And of course I'm assuming incorrectly. Oh no, I got it. Okay, so apricot halves. Um, halves and slices, actually really cute. Very realistic looking, the correct color and everything. My understanding uh, with the Zuru's is that you're not going to have any extra ingredients. Like what's pictured is how many they give you and you will not have any extra ingredients to play with. Unlike the uh, Miniverse. Oof, a fork. I wish I had my Miniverse with me so I can compare. I think this fork is a little longer. Oh, also um, a set of tongs that look more tong-like. Very cool. Um, a cheesecake, which I don't want to ruin the box. It opens pretty easily. And this is as cheesecake. Oh, a very realistic looking like souffle top cheesecake. Super cool. Beautiful cheesecake. Um, and then I think it comes with almonds to top it as well. And it's not mint in the photograph. No, just almonds. This is a really big bag for almonds. Oh, because there are many other things in it. Okay, so a cake slicer. Um, a little plate, which is super cute. Uh, what is this attached to? Is this attached to anybody? Just this? Does this plate attach to this? No, just a master chef. It would make sense for this to be a table. Oh, nope, it's in my hand because I am uh, not functioning at full. Okay, cake stand, full capacity. All right, cake stand, like such, with the master chef logo. Plate to go on top of the cake stand. So these are everything that comes in it for ten dollars and it's not bad like it's it's a good set it's uh more realistic than i'm interested in sorry here's the sliced almonds and it comes in a paper bag which i'm not digging how do the almonds look though it's definitely not oh they look really cute they actually just look like little sesame seeds like they don't look like almonds to me they look like real side like real life size sesame seeds but they're cute i don't dig that it's a paper bag not my favorite. Uh, like I said, the packaging leaves something to be desired. It looks a little more realistic than I'm interested in for a toy. Obviously, I'm very disappointed that I did not get the fruit tart, but I'm not really that into Mooney Brands Create anyway. I'm just uh, doing that FOMO thing where I was like, oh, it's in stores. I got to get it. So then I got it. Um, but it seems cool. And, uh, you know, I'll make it and I'll let y'all know how it goes. Yay, Mini Brands, uh, Zuru Create.